I have no idea what sort of inspires me. The things I paint are things that I know very well. And Jamie Wyeth will tell you it's all he's ever known. Sixty years of the prolific painter's work are now on view at the Museum of Fine Arts in his first major retrospective. It takes us from Wyeth's boyhood promise to late in life reflections. Seeing all of your work from very early on to the most recent pieces, what is it like to see it in one space? The emotion is sheer terror on my part. I mean, I really, and I'm not being cute about it. I find, you know, I try to tell writer friends of mine, it's as if you're in a room and everybody's reading your new novel or your new poem. You know, all the inadequacies stare out at me and I sort of cringe and say, what was I thinking? Why did I get obsessed with that? And uh, so it's not a pleasant experience. I'm obviously incredibly honored. In truth, he's always been in the spotlight as the third generation of the famed Wyeth family, the son of Andrew, the grandson of N.C. Wyeth's earliest pieces, saved and annotated by his mother, reveal a child's fascination with adventure. More significantly, though, they show his early mastery of the line. He was an artist to the canvas born. It wasn't forced upon us, but you know, the tools were there. I mean, we lived in my father's studio, so there were the brushes and the pencils and the paint, so it, would, it was very natural for me to want to paint. By age 17, in his portrait of Shorty, Wyeth's skill was already long cemented and consuming. I would get up in the morning and just want to paint. I'm a very boring person, and then all I do is, is, is want to paint and to record what I feel moves me or what interests me, and. Uh, and that can be in the form of a pig or in the form of President Kennedy. His portrait of John F. Kennedy, recently acquired by the MFA, was painted after the president's death at the request of his grieving family. I was taken up with Kennedy as much as everybody was at that time. And then I realized I started doing this very sort of glorified portrait of, of President Kennedy. And then I felt the need to have life, so I did a lot of drawings of the two brothers, of Bob and Ted. I didn't want to just work from photographs, you know, I wanted. And actually, there's a portrait of Ted under the, the actual painting. Really? In what way? I literally did him and then changed it into his brother. Just to have, I was so desperate, I didn't want it to look like a posthumous portrait. Dancer Rudolf Nureyev, though, was someone Wyeth knew incredibly well, having studied the Russian ballet star intensely for a year and a half. On stage, he was extraordinary, of course, but then off stage, he was as fascinating. I mean, he, he would come and stay at our house, and it was like having a panther in the house, you know? I mean, he had this amazing presence and this sort of remarkable look, so that just drew me. I mean, he was just beyond dance and beyond. He just was this amazing figure. Wyeth met Nureyev during his days at Andy Warhol's factory, that 1970s New York hotbed of the avant-garde, exploration, and sexuality. It was a most unlikely combo. Sometimes opposites attract, and, uh, and I always, I was intrigued with his work, his, uh, and the resonance he has today, I think is remarkable with young people still. I mean, and the quality I most loved in Warhol, it was his sense of wonder. I mean, he was, absolutely everything was, oh, oh my God, isn't that wonderful? You know, and so it wasn't that he was cool and kind of calculating at all. He was very childlike. Personalities aside, much of Wyeth's work has been about painting place, specifically where he grew up, the rugged coast of Maine and the bucolic Brandywine River Valley stretching between Pennsylvania and Delaware. I'm not interested in traveling. I never travel and painting the Himalayas or... I, I don't care about scenes. I don't care about interesting looking trees. What I do care about are trees that I know, that I've grown up with and touched and so forth. And I just think it makes the work more meaningful. The more you're familiar with something and comfortable and have a love for it or a hate for it even, um, the better the sort of result. For Jamie Wyeth, his life's work is his life story.